Hello there. Happy Sunday. I recently put out a video that revealed to you who my picks for Choose Your Legend 7s were in Fire Emblem Heroes. Now, if you haven't seen that video, here's who I voted for. Uh, it doesn't really matter, necessarily. This part doesn't really matter. I happen to think that they aren't entirely predictable picks, but as my chat told me last evening, wow, look at that face, uh, I 80% thought it was a very predictable ballot on my behalf. Okay, whatever. The point of this video is actually twofold. I was going to reveal my ballot to you and also ask you what your ballots were so that I could look over them on stream. And during stream, I went through about 100 plus ballots. A lot of them were Golvig based, okay? I'm not going to lie. Not my fault. If she wins, it, I don't want to take credit for that, even though I seem to be the Golvig uh, figurehead within Feytuber land at the moment. Uh, I just think it would be interesting if a big bad won, because then they would have to try a little harder with the alt and all of those things. Anyway, point is, I asked you to submit. You did. I looked at them. Well, my lord. Halfway through the stream, I was like, huh, I wonder if it would be a good idea to like look at these as like a smaller sample size and potentially use them predict to predict who would actually win Choose Your Legends based on my community votes. And if nothing else, it would be interesting to take that subset of data and look at it once the full spread of Choose Your Legends votes got released on February 2nd. How close would it be? How close of a representation is my audience to the overall player base of the Fire Emblem Heroes community. And so, by the end, going through everybody's ballots, I was like, you know what, maybe I'll take tomorrow and do that, and just, like, tally everything up. Like, that could be cool, right? Well, I have news. I didn't have to do that, because one of my viewers did it for me. <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank you, Redhead Bebs. I appreciate that. <laughs> Uh, so you can see there were 723 votes across 106 ballots, which does check. Now, mine is not included in here. It technically should be 107, technically. But again, you know, my ballot, I feel like is also semi-representative of what the overall, like my viewers and I, I feel like we have similar taste, okay? So I'm not surprised at the, to what, what has happened here. Um... But I, I don't think my seven votes are really going to throw off the total polls here. Okay, I don't think anybody's going to win or lose by, like, one. So, uh, I think overall the representative uh, amount is still pretty fine, still accurate uh, for what it is. 723 votes is not a lot, given the fact that, like, it was, like, 80,000 votes... <laughs> For just the, the top two placements in each category last year. Uh, but it's a subset. And so, you know, that I just, I just, I don't know if this is actually going to predict who wins. But I do think it would be interesting to see how close this subset is to the total set uh, when that gets released later. So look for a follow up video at that time. But right now, I think it's just interesting. And again, thank you to uh, Bebs over here uh, for doing that for, for me. And you, technically, for, for all of us. Uh, this is what the total amount was. Okay, so... Lord. This is... Uh, this is stunningly laid out. <laughs> like, categories I wouldn't even think to do, honestly. Um, total ballots. Total covered. Sure. Uh, how many people... Like, some people didn't miss... Uh, or some people didn't have their total ballots filled out. Some were missing a couple days here and there. This is what happens when I don't do daily coverage. You guys forget. I'm sorry. Uh, maybe I'll change that next year, but probably not. Because uh, I think this is more fun than just telling you who I'm voting for every single day to remind you. Uh, this was... Uh, you, by the way, this is not my fault either. If you miss anything I cover during a stream, okay, blame Susan. All right? It's not my fault. Susan pops up and says, run an ad, and I had to do it. It's the RNG of whether or not you get an ad that really makes the big difference, right? Uh, unique characters, votes, sure. Uh, so it's interesting that more votes were for the men's side. So 80, 80 different male characters were voted for, I think is what that means. Uh, so a, a, a more diverse spread of male characters 
whereas the women's side was a little bit less, four, four characters fewer, actually, but did have about 80 more votes than the total votes going to male characters. So there were more male character vote, uh, more male characters voted for, but more total votes for the women's side. And this is also where I advocate. I always send feedback every year around Choose Your Legends time. So like maybe they remember. Maybe I should do it sooner. I try and like, I think it would be a good idea if we got two votes a day, one for the male side, one for the female side. Because there's technically two categories, but you can't vote in both categories. That's like voting for a president without being able to choose the vice president. You know what I mean? Like, that seems a little weird. Uh, maybe that's for the better. I don't know. This is not a political take. I just, I just a bad analogy. But the point is, uh, I think it would be more beneficial because then it would be like a more accurate representation because you don't have to choose. Um, if it was going by total votes, yes, makes total sense. Your top four, male or female, doesn't matter. Whoever gets the most votes win. But they don't do that. So I think you should be able to vote for each category. Anyway, point is, uh, this is this is the subset that we're looking at. Uh, and then these I have in bigger view here. So, on the women's side. On the women's side, we actually have Goldfig winning. Not my fault. And also Bernadetta. And this, I feel like, is a pretty strong representation of what I had just seen, like, going through. I thought that the top five looked a lot like uh, female Robin, uh, female Corrin, Azura, Bernadetta, and Goldvig. That's who I thought. Turns out, Sharena also has a fair amount of support. I see all of you Phaeology viewers out there. Okay, I see you. And I acknowledge you. Uh, but uh, Goldvig is a big deal. Evidently. Um, so that's a little bit scary. <laughs> It would be kind of funny, like, given given that Choose Your Legends kind of comes out around midpoint of the current book, right? And, like, she is allegedly the big bad of the current book, and so they would somehow have to find a way to make her pro Order of Heroes now, kind of like what they did with Brave Veronica in Year 2. It would be kind of funny. <laughs> it would be kind of fun, like... I mean, they could do it because, like, she controls and manipulates time and stuff, right? That's, like, all, why all the, the current chapters are kind of, like, wonky. Um, <laughs> it would be kind of funny. It, like, they would have to work hard at it. Like, straight up. Neither here nor there. Uh, but you can see a couple a couple more popping in here. A lot of Rhea heads. We love that. Uh, Anna, I don't see a lot of Anna gang. Unless I'm missing them somewhere. There's... Some based Myco enthusiasts. We love that. Um, so yeah, wait, wait, were there not? Oh, there's Anna. There's Anna. Uh, these are Awakening Annas, by the way. I didn't have a single non-Awakening Anna vote. They were all for Awakening Anna. So Anna, as a whole, might have a decent shot because I feel like the Anna enthusiasts got their act together and all, like, voted for a single particular Anna. Once Engaged Anna comes out, uh, that's probably a different story. But uh, these were these were pretty much who we looked at. We'll go through all of them here just so you can see them. Uh, yeah, interesting. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, Titania, Saros, sure. See, Saros and Rhea gang, we also have to get on the same page here. We genuinely do. Um, I don't know who would win, though. Or who would be who would be the better alt? I don't know. It doesn't matter. This is the men's side. Male Robin and Soren. And this is also kind of what I thought. Okay, this is also kind of what I thought. I had like an inkling that the top five, if you will, uh, for the men's side would have been uh, Male Robin, Soren. Uh, I thought Felix was pretty high up there. I thought Male Byleth was pretty high up there. And then I wasn't really sure. I think I said Felix. Um... But, you know, we also had, like, a lot of cigar votes. We had a lot of uh, leaf votes. Like, they were, they were kind of all over the place. Um, but here you can see male Robin wins. Soren wins. Uh, leaf comes in uh, pretty close third. Uh, Felix in a pretty close fourth. And so on. Um, so, yeah, this was... Uh, this was all one vote, by the way. This was all one ballot. There was a single ballot that had all to say... And then, I don't remember who else it was. 
I can't remember. But the, on day seven, they voted for somebody different, and I was like, that's weird. That's upsetting. Um, but anyway, point is, this is about who would win, right? Uh, I see a lot of Itsuki and Krom fans. I, the problem is, I don't think, I do not believe the TMS will ever have enough support to crack into the top two. I think that they will always typically place relatively high within the top 10-ish. Uh, just, you know, characters in general on both sides. Uh, I feel like they'll usually be, like, higher up. Um, once Engage comes out, they'll probably drop to, like, top 20. But, uh, yeah, I don't know that they'll ever crack top top two. But there is a point where, and this is this is representative of my ballot, I don't typically vote for ones I think will win. Um, outside of the Awakening Tiki thing last year where we actually ran a campaign and, like, tried to convince people, popping off on Instagram and Twitter. Um, I typically vote for ones I just want to see eventually. Like, if I can if if my single vote for Nagi, okay, can somehow get me a Halloween Nagi alt this coming 2023 year, okay? Some point, for Halloween 23, if I get a Halloween Nagi, great. <laughs> That's all I'm expecting. That's all I'm hoping for. I don't think she's actually going to win. Even though, Brave Nagi could be kind of cool. Uh, so this is who else we have for the men's side. Uh, a single vote for Zhark feels... Feels... Uh, feels bad, man. Torino, that's pretty cool. Um, overall, nothing too shocking. There were a couple ballots that were like deep dives. <laughs> Like, they've been playing Fire Emblem for a while, and they know some obscure characters. And I don't know if it's for the meme, or if they genuinely love it. I'm not I'm not sure. I'm not qualified to comment on that. But the truth of the matter is, they were some deep dives, okay? Uh, and that's that's just how it is. And I respect those ballots a lot. Franz vote is goaded, by the way. Uh, and this is the final graphic that we've got. So these are going to be the top votes. Uh, looks like top 20, I think, is what this comes down to ish um i uh or no top 30 top 50 somewhere around there i don't know i don't know how many of this is uh but this is just overall this is not men or men or women you can see the the men are highlighted in blue the women are highlighted in pink uh or red rose i'm not sure what color that is my eyes are bad uh goldvig wins outstandingly male robin wins uh and and the, so the the top two in each side are also indicative of the top four overall and then female Corrin comes in a handily fifth, uh, with Sharana just missing out. Shock, I know. Always so close, but never quite enough. Uh, coming in sixth, it looks like. So that's that's kind of something cool, I guess. Um, and then we have like some others that were like one to three votes apiece. Uh, so this pretty much boils it down to that. Uh, and then we have a nice little pie chart here. Neat. So overall. Uh, and this is kind of interesting because it, it impacts uh, kind of what I usually tell you where, uh, you know, your one-off vote, probably not going to make a huge difference, okay? Uh, and that's what this is. You need, you need uh, some sort of, like, collaborative hive mind to get your character to win. And that's just how it is. You're doing the one-offs like I do, typically not going to matter. And that's what this big chunk here is. None of this matters. <laughs> None of that matters. This matters, and this matters, and that matters, and that matters. This? No. This is like, your character is probably going to be somewhere in the 300 to 400 rank range. That's probably what that is. Um, and there's so many of them that they're just kind of split out. Feels bad, man. I know. I know. I want more obscure stuff, too. Uh, but maybe, maybe they will have to deep dive like further into the list now, because typically we'd see new heroes and special heroes from like the top 100 over the course of the year, usually starting around June or July. And then, you know, that's, that's where like the current Choose Your Legends inclusion cycle is what I'll call it starts is like summer, uh, following the, the results. Maybe they'll start doing deep dives just because like, they are popular characters that are already in the game, but like they're already there, so they can't like keep just putting them in. Otherwise, we just have the same alts over and over and over, and that's not great either, right? So maybe they will start doing deep dives. I feel like they're gonna have to eventually, 
Uh, then again, we also do have mainline titles coming out, right? Like Engage, every couple of years. Uh, they even did the unthinkable and included a Warriors game, uh, which granted didn't have a lot of like new characters in it, um, really just Shez for the most part, uh, and, and Arful that were like new to involve in this. Um, so like, I don't know. I don't know if the new title release cycle is also going to somehow impact like how far down the list they have to go to uh, bring in new characters and stuff. I feel like it will probably just kind of like keep everything. Everybody's going to keep getting buried further and further down. <laughs> and they're just never going to see anything. Um, I don't know. But the new like rising star, whatever that is, uh, where like they gain a bunch of traction, whatever that reward looks like. Uh, whatever that highlight looks like. I don't know. Maybe that will bring more awareness. I'm not sure. Um, but I thought that this was really cool. And I uh, I will. I have this bookmarked, okay? When the results come out in about two weeks or so, we'll go back and look at this and see how close we were as a community, okay? And then uh, we'll just we'll see what happens. And if this works, if this works, okay, if this actually happens... It's going to be really funny. It'll be really funny, but really cool. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's the video. I, uh, again, uh, thank you thank you to Bebs for, for putting this together for us. Because uh, it saved me probably hours of my day. Uh, and now I can go and do yard work instead. So that's fun. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate you greatly. Uh, let me know if this aligns with your identity of Choose Your Legends or not. <laughs> probably... It might, because they're your ballot. That's a dumb question. I don't care anymore. Just comment something for algorithm. I would appreciate that. Anyway, thanks again for watching, uh, and I will, I will see you in the next one. So until then, I will catch you next time.